Hey guys, today we're here to show you how to install the Fast Lab UTV X3 fan shroud. So we have a 2022 Can Am Maverick X3, and the original fan shroud here is plastic. And so we're going to be installing it with a much beefier, bulkier, heavy duty fan shroud. So we've got our buddy John here. He's helped us with a couple of mechanical things. And so we're going to tackle this project and show you how to do it. So as you can tell, we removed the whole front end of the can Maverick X3. So we're not going to be showing how to do that. There's a ton of other videos out there that do it. Um, it's just lots of pins and bolts. Um, but we're going to show you the process of how to remove the fan shroud next. So you just need a couple tools here, like a 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter wrench, an eight millimeter socket, a hammer and punch or flathead screwdriver, a T20 socket or wrench, and an 11 30 seconds wrench. So the first thing we're going to be doing is disconnecting the fan motor connector which is right here behind the radiator on the driver's side. All right so using a 10 millimeter socket we're going to remove the four bolts holding the radiator to the fan shroud. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go through all of our clips and zip ties, which hold all the hoses and other components behind the radiator here. We're gonna remove all of those, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the bolts that hold it in. Which sure there's two up here and two down here, but we'll get the zip ties out first and then show you the next part. All right, so now that we've got all the bolts removed, we're gonna remove the X3 fan shroud just by pulling it up and leaving the radiator in place. All right, so we've got this out. This is the original shroud, and we are going to remove the fan blade by hammering the spring clip out of its pin and pulling up on the fan. One thing to note though is that the orientation, you need to look at the orientation of the fan blade to the motor as it can only be assembled one way for when we reinstall it. So it's helpful if you mark both of the components. All right, so remember, it's curved that way. So now that the fan is removed, the next thing we're going to do is remove the fan motor by loosening the four screws. And for this, you're gonna use an eight millimeter socket. So it also states that you should note the orientation of the power cable and match it to the fast lab shroud. All right, so this is the new Fast Lab fan shroud. So we're gonna be installing the fan motor into it next using the supplied nuts and bolts that they gave us. And you're gonna use a T20 for the bolt and an 11 30 seconds wrench for the nut. So for this, you'll need to torque it to 32 inch pounds.
So the next thing we're going to do now is drop the fan onto the fan motor. So remember that the fan can only go one way and have the spring clip line up with the tab. All right, so now that we have the fan attached back to the fan motor, that's all you have left to do for the assembly of the fan shroud. So we're going to install it back on our Maverick X3. All right, so we have the new fan shroud in place, as you can see here. So you're gonna use the original hardware to secure it back down, but FastLab sent a couple rubber washers that we're gonna put in place, and that'll help with any vibrations. So we'll show you how that's installed next. Alright, so all that's left is to attach the radiator back to the fan. So there's two bolts up here and two down here. And then once you're done with that, all you have left to do is plug in the fan, which is over back on this side like we showed at the beginning. And then after that's done, we recommend getting some zip ties, getting everything tied back together that we already cut from before from the original, and get everything secured down properly behind it, and then run the vehicle so that the fan kicks in and then you can make sure it runs properly and that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment below and subscribe for more future content.